Hey, busy crafters, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning. I want to start off by saying thank you to every single one of my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. This channel would not be what it is if it wasn't for you guys. And I wouldn't even have a channel. So, with that being said, I want to explain why I am taking this channel into a different direction. I'm not giving up on the channel. I know I haven't been around. Um... Not consistently, at least. And to tell you the truth, I've kind of, kind of got into a funk with everything that's been going on, um, to where I didn't even want to craft. And so, with everything that's going on with my mom and now my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, life is really, life, life has got a good, good arm. Like, <laughs> and so. I try to get back into the swing of things of wanting to craft. I actually did do a craft and it turned out amazing. So that video is actually being worked on as we're speaking. And so how I did that is I went and started watching my craft channels. I have a few handy dandy craft channels that always make me laugh and I, I just love them. And then, you know, of course, when you're watching you know your regular channels that other channels come up that you don't you don't really know and so you click on them and they're amazing too the thing is is i've decided when i'm watching these channels i'm already seeing crafty crafters that are doing halloween already and we're not even out of june yet you know where there's fall stuff that's coming and we're already talking about Christmas we haven't even been able to swim in our pool yet and we're already talking about Christmas now I live on top of a mountain and winter sticks around like yeah winter never wants to leave and when we finally get rid of winter <laughs> it's coming back so that is why this channel is going to start dancing to the beat of its own drum I have collaborations that I love doing, but to tell you the truth, it's been overwhelming and with, with everything that's been going on and the roller coaster ride, imagine being on a roller coaster ride and still getting laminate struck at you. Like it's terrible. And so um Yeah. There's a lot of things that I do get done. Um, there's a reason why the channel's called The Busy Housewife. I don't just craft. I cook. I clean. And the channel is my number two priority. My number one priority is, in fact, my family and my household. And so I like to try new recipes. And I like to build things. Like, my husband taught me how to use the, the tools, the power tools. <laughs> yeah, now I'm like, you know, Jessica the Builder. Move over, Bob. But um, I want to take you on a tour of the things that we're able to do in the summertime. And because I live on top of a mountain, there's, I can't, have you ever tried painting and there's a snowstorm? Like the blizzard literally out there? Like, it's not good. And like, we, ha we have to play with resin, guys. Like, I got a resin kit and you can't, resin doesn't cure when it's like below what 70 degrees and so when everybody's rushing past life and seasons I'm taking this channel and we are going to be focusing more on the moment yeah because that's what we gotta do so anyways um and we're going to enjoy the season that we're in now Am I not going to try to keep up with the other crafters? I may, but only if the things that I wanted to get done, because I do furniture flipping. I'm going to show you guys the TV stand that I turned into a bench for my foyer. I do building, you know, with wood from scratch. And I'll show you the projects that my husband and myself, I helped, I helped guys that we did for our home. I'll also show you the wood project that I made before I had this channel that I'm actually gonna probably do again because I, I need one for the backyard. But um, 
yeah, we're going to, we're going to just, you know, enjoy today and now. We're going to enjoy the season that we're in. Um, if I get the stuff that I wanted done during the summer, and then we could do Christmas in July. Like, Christmas in July, I understand, is a big thing. But, um, yeah, I, I have a resin kit. I have, you know, wood. And I can't really go out there when it's like, you know, 12 degrees and it's snowing and it's coming down sideways and it's pelting you in the face. So <clears throat> that is the future of this channel was we're going to just enjoy ourselves now and we're going to worry about tomorrow tomorrow. We are going to enjoy the season that we're in. Um, I'm going to show you what we built around the pool. It's above ground pool. It's on an in-ground pool. I live in the mountains and so that would be kind of a little bit... The pool be, you know, it'll be like, you know, one foot over here and eight feet over or 126 feet over here. I don't know. So it's above ground pool. But we've we've built things. We have a greenhouse that I'm probably not going to show you guys because that part of the yard is not done yet. Because I also do the gardening. I do, you know, new recipes. I do, I try new recipes. And then I'm like, or I'm like, hey, you know. So... There's a lot that we get done in the summer. Um, candle making. I know candle making you could probably do in the winter time too. And that's fine. But the resin you cannot. And so we're going to do resin. And we're going to do wood. And when we get to the point where we have done what we wanted to get done for summer. Then we can focus on something else. And I think that's what we're going to do. Um, when you see people that you love just struggling... That's what made me realize you got to love the moment that you're in. And so that's what we're going to do. So now go ahead. I'm going to go out to the back and show you guys the, the stuff that we made out in the backyard. Um, my deck has not been cleaned off yet. So don't judge because I my husband was going to do it. But I was like, but I wanted to do it because I wanted to decorate it too because I made stuff for it. And so, I just have to clean off the leaves and the spider webs. There's spiders galore. So that's what we're gonna do. So I will meet you in the backyard and then I will take you on a tour around the front yard and the, the stuff that we made before, or the stuff that we and I made before we had the channel. Well, before I had the channel. <laughs> I say we a lot because me and my husband were one. And so, yeah, I will meet you in the backyard and I will talk to you then. All right, I'll see you back there, guys. So this is the above ground pool that we got. Um, we built the fence around it because of these guys right here. It is because of you guys. No, it is. That used to be the chicken coop, but we have to build it up because when we had a big giant snowstorm that left a bunch of snow, the chicken coop collapsed. Luckily, there was no... Um, animals in that coop at that time so that's something that we have to repair because of the snow but we built the fence around the pool yes it is because of you yes you guys were uh pooping and peeing in the pool area yes yes you were that's mr groot that's artemis yeah anyways so that's what we have built around the pool and it goes all the way around and still got to clean up the backyard because like I said we just barely got into warm weather you know just a few days ago she's telling family secrets so don't pay attention to her at all we also redid our fence back there but we also put the pergola up when we redid our fan or our whole deck it's a little messy back here guys but it is what it is and yeah anybody who has a husky knows that they're crazy and so now she's not speaking but we put the pergola up when we redid the deck. And I have to get all the pine needles off. But, you know, it is what it is. So this is what we have going in the summertime. And I have to do, build more stuff for the summertime. And so that's why we're going to stick with the moments that, you know, that we're, we're in. So now I'm going to take you out to the front yard. And I'll show you the stuff that we built in the front. 
I'll see you there. Okay, so this is one of the furniture flips that I've done. This was actually a TV stand and it was hideous. If I can find the picture, I'll go ahead and post a picture right next to it of what it looked like before. But um, yeah, this is what it, this is what I did. You know, we got the feet for it. It was a TV stand. There was drawers there in the middle, but I took the drawers out. I still have the drawers that I have to do something with, but I handmade the cushion on top and the red pillows. And yeah, so you really can't do furniture flipping when it's the winter time. And so that's why this how this channel is called the busy housewife because I do a lot more than just craft and that's why I want to focus more on all the things that I do than just you know indoor crafting so yeah turned out pretty nice it's very sturdy and not too shabby it's in my uh foyer and I have a whole basement full of uh, furniture that I have to flip and so that's what I'm hoping to do this summer is to get some of that stuff done so yeah it's either a facelift or a you know total flip like this one was a total flip TV stand into a foyer bench and we put the uh, the sides around it so that the cushion wouldn't fall off so it goes all the way around and yeah so that is something that you know we do well I do I, I did this my husband came out and sanded it down a little bit but you know I had fun doing it and so now we are going out to the front yard to show what else we do in the summertime that that pergola or not pergola that uh Yeah, the, uh, the arbor. Now, something that I do with the arbor. Yeah, so we built this from scratch, and it's quite beautiful. I do have to paint it, and that's another thing that I have to do this summer is paint it. I have to power wash it and then paint it. But yeah, that is what we done, you know, in the summertime, and that is why we're just going to this channel is going to seize the moment and not try to keep up with the Joneses I guess is what you can call it. Another thing we did is the gazebo. That's another thing that I have to paint. You know I love painting and I love doing chores and the, the work around the house, home improvement. And so yeah we have to do that. And that is something that we built from the ground up scratch together and yeah it's it's got its weathering but that's something that i have to do in the summertime and if i'm trying to keep up with christmas and everything like that i have to repaint these chairs as well but it's it's pretty decent it's nice little yellow roses that are climbing so yeah i have to do that you can kind of get a glimpse of the the greenhouse back there that side of the yard isn't done yet we're working on it but yeah that is our gazebo and then that's the garden that the gophers keep eating my husband built the fire pit but then this side of the garden does a little tiny bit better not too much but then another thing that i have built and this one is by myself my lantern planters and this is something that I'm probably going to do on the channel again because I need some for the back so yeah that's a three foot a two foot and a one foot planter and they have the hooks and yeah that's the first project that I've made by myself using the power tools and so that's what we are planning on doing so I hope you guys are okay with the future of this channel so I'm gonna go back into the craft room and then we can talk a little more there I'll see you in the craft room so I hope you guys liked the tour my hair is being all crazy like I have it up because it's down past my rear and so it feels like I'm wearing a sweater all the time and with this heat that we just barely got like four days ago 
yeah, the house was hitting 66 degrees. I'm still not up to 100%. I still have a cough. Um, and I think it's, I hope it's sinuses, but it's been, it's been a while now, but I'm feeling a little bit better. And so, yeah, um, the arbor, the gazebo, the greenhouse, I did have to mess with the greenhouse a little bit there too. Um, got to clean off the back deck, get that all looking nice and pretty. So I pray that you guys do stick around, even though we're not keeping up with the rest of the channels. Um, we're just going to love the moment that we're in and the season that we're in and be more consistent with that. Um, I will go ahead when I have time to jump on and do collaborations because I do enjoy collaborations, especially the Just Your Imagination collaboration. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> they really do challenge you and I like that because I like a challenge. I, I really do. And so, yeah, if uh, you want to see more recipes, um, I love cooking. I... I get weird looks from people because I love cooking, I love cleaning, I love painting. My husband's all like, oh, I'm gonna paint that. Actually, I'll paint the, <laughs> I painted our laundry room um, when he was at work. <laughs> and I actually kind of got a little mad because he painted the kitchen and the dining room when I was out shopping. So <laughs> I love painting and I love doing home improvements. And there's just no greater joy than you know, making your house, your home freshen up. And so that's why this summer I got to do the painting on the the fence on the side. It's got off a of color though, but whatever the neighbor painted. I didn't pick it, the neighbor painted. If it was up to me, it would be white like the rest of it. But the, uh, the arbor out front, um, got to paint that. I have to power wash it first. So I'm kind of excited about that because now I get to use a power washer. And, uh, yeah, my husband kind of looks at me weird because I was like, dude, I want a power washer. <laughs> and so we're going to do that this summer. And I can't do all of that with rushing through life. And not going to, I'm not going to rush through life. Now, if I get the videos out that I want to get out for the summer, like it's not going to be summer decorations. It's going to be summer projects. Some of them might be summer decorations. Who knows? You know? But, um, yeah, we're just going to do our own thing. And when the collaborations come up and I'm like, oh, I have time to do that, then I'm going to focus on that as well. But I do have an Etsy shop that has been neglected and it hasn't had any new merchandise in it for a long time. And I can do that too because I have so much merchandise that I got to get done as well. And I got to focus on Etsy as well because it's been slacking off. So... I'm coming back and I'm I'm focusing on the here and now and love every moment that I have with my family when I have them and yeah so if you guys could just go ahead and bear with me and stick around um, if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing that will help me out a lot and please pray for my mom my mother-in-law and my father-in-law <clears throat> they're all my mom is home now um she's doing a little bit better they did have to stop her chemo but um I know who my lord is and I know he's got a plan and I know that everything is going to turn out just fine so it's still a roller coaster ride but my trust is in Jesus and I will hang on to his garment I will hang on to him and as life is throwing us lemons I'm gonna go make margaritas. <laughs> They're a lot funner than lemonade. But um yeah, so I will catch you on the next one and God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. Um thank you for hearing me out and thank you for subscribing. Thank you all for everything that you guys do. Um I wouldn't have this channel and the only reason why I do is because of you guys. So Thank you guys so much. God bless you. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.